Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for April 7th to the 13th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, Aquarius, man, there's a lot of cards that wanna come out for you. Let's take a look at these cards here before we jump in here. Let's see what Spirit wants to say here. There is a twin flame soulmate connection. There's this relationship. There's somebody who's very defeated about the energy. They really want to come out and speak their truth to you, and they want to do it in a very wise manner here. They want to play politics and say the right things and do all the right things. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person wants to take a risk here. They want to take a leap of faith. They're being very calculated about it, though. That's what I feel like until they feel like it's the right situation. This person wants to accomplish something. They want to complete something. They want something to come full circle here. Okay, what does it mean with the world card energy? World card can be travel. There could be a uh, distance between you and this person. There also could be the fact that they want to take their connection with you to another level, okay? Like they want to graduate to another level in this connection. This person wants to rush in here with the cherry card energy. They have strong desires here. Okay, so. Let's now move into your reading here. So we're gonna cover the day to day, the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's gonna have my Aquarius's romantic love life for April 7th to 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. How's my sound, by the way? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so, all right, so Aquarius, don't forget you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Aquarius make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Oh, that's a good card to get at the end there. Okay, so we can see the love interest feelings here. And we can see the blockage for this week. Okay, it's the Empress card energy. Well, let's see the overall outcome. Okay, the overall energy is burdens and responsibilities and trying to uh, overcome the challenges of these burdens and responsibilities. I feel like there's a lot of baggage in this situation and someone's at a sense of loss here. How can I offer something? They won't accept what I'm offering here. I wanna hold on to them. Okay, so the, the a blockage here, query seems to be the the Empress. Now, it could be mother, could be abundance, could be some potential to start a family here, could be pregnancy also, the Empress card energy. So, let's get more information here. What's going to have my Aquarius' romantic love life for April 7th to 13th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You can see there's a lot of power moves being made this week, particularly because of, you know, passion and chemistry here. This could be a person at work for some of you, okay? Because uh, it's like uh, the emperor can talk about a boss energy and we see money and finance involved with this somehow. And even the three of pentacles can talk about a work-related situation. So there is somebody here that's definitely got some strong chemistry and passion with you. And I feel like they, they like definitely check you out when you're by yourself and you're doing your thing, they're watching you. That's what I feel like here. They're playing chess here. That's what I feel like they're playing chess. They're playing some, they're making some moves here, whether or not you're aware of it or not, and they're doing it in a very calculated way. Okay. <laughs> yep, there you go, you got the thoughts. There's some planning going on here. They got some planning going on here. Yep, with the thoughts energy, they're, they're, you're on their mind. They're thinking about you. Yeah, um, you guys are very independent, so it seems like they are kind of in despair about that, okay? They're a little bit worried about that, okay? Hmm. Yeah, they definitely want to heal this situation. They're being very strategic. You could work with this person, okay? Or this person's just coming off like a boss. It's like a boss energy here. The emperor and the king of wands, like a natural born leader there. Like, they're taking a leadership role. They're trying to take control of this situation in their despair to heal the situation in their thoughts. Yeah, you're, you're driving them crazy. <laughs> 
in, in, a, in a very good way. Like they're very passionate about you. All right, what's going to have my Aquarius is romance love life for April 7th and the 13th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Mm. <laughs> they're doing stuff like I do feel like they're they're just checking you out. And yeah, they're doing some planning here. They're not being honest with you about it. Yeah, you you yeah, there's a lot of deep heavy soul searching going on. See, look at this. There's obsessive energy here. There's obsessive energy and the desires here. They are obsessed. Okay, they are thinking about you. It seems like it could be a theme this week. All right, so we see the three of pentacles energy, which can represent work, working together, a team environment. It looks like there's a creative thing going on here. Mm -hmm. Yep, occupation. So we see work and socializing here. There's other people involved in the situation. So as I said, for some of you, there is a work-related situation going on. You're, you're definitely in this person's thoughts. They are trying to be very strategic about trying to work with you, but on, they, they, they're realizing you like to be by yourself or you're very independent, okay? And that causes them some issues because they have to be very strategic and they have to make power moves to kind of like get around you. Okay, so <laughs> what the heck? And we see the Empress can be abundance, okay? It could, could be something to work. There's some huge potential here. You know, but maybe you're not seeing the potential as of yet because it looks like this person's kind of like, you know, they're looking to the side and they're closing their eyes. So to the situation that's growing. Okay, so we see that, yes, Aquarius, things are moving in your favor here because of a decision. Towards this chemistry and passion. <laughs> okay, okay. We've got some passion exercises coming up here. Okay. So we see that, yes, this person is longing for you. They have a lot of heartache here with the Three of Swords energy and their expectations. Mm. And they're concerned about having some kind of regrets here mm. and being patient here. Okay, this person's like, why did I wait? Why did I wait? <laughs> okay, so we see there's this, this ideal situation coming together for you guys with the Magician card energy by the 13th. And there's a new beginning child card energy, and you're going to gain knowledge of it. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the week, you're going to know about it, okay? And this person's like, why did I wait? Why did I wait so long in my heartache here when I could have just made a move? So yes, by the end of the week here on the 13th, you're going to know about this. So someone wasn't telling you the truth about the sense of isolation and their obsessions to wanting to socialize, to hang out with you because of this chemistry and passion, there's regrets, and now you've gained knowledge. Okay, so... Man, you were <laughs> definitely driving this person crazy. This person is thinking about you in despair and he, wanting to, you know, heal the situation. Now, with this card, I'm feeling like this is very literal in the fact that we have the the, the Emperor card and then the, the King of Wands there. So I feel like it's more or less in their despair of wanting to have passion with you <laughs> and uh, wanting to work together and making a decision towards their expectations for a new situation. Okay. 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 So there's this passionate energy and you know, you've been you were you were spending some time alone, you were focused on your pentacles, but it does look like there's somebody who is trying to be very strategic. Could be a boss too with the emperor card energy cuz they're coming off like a boss. Uh, for some of you. And it's like, "All right, let's work together." They were trying to find ways to work together with you so that they can move things in their favor and their sense of heartache. And so then there was an ideal situation. It all came together. Okay. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. Yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, so how does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, how do they feel about you? Well, they feel like they don't know how to be honest with you about these regrets and wanting some kind of long-term situation here. This person wants to talk to you about a relationship if you're single and available to pursue. This person, there's something to do with marriage or commitment and something unexpected. So the marriage card is like the commitment card. This person wants a commitment, a relationship, okay, with the, now that could be you or them, okay? And um, they're hoping that something unexpected can happen for the long term if you're single and available to pursue, okay? 
So now let's go back to the blockage. We got the Empress card. We got recognized victories, okay. We got some indecisions. Okay, some indecisions because probably this has to do with abundance at work or some kind of huge potential here, but not an awareness of this huge potential and somebody who wants your attention, trying to get your attention. What's, that's the indecisions they're about. Okay, so that was the blockage this week. <laughs> there's the full card energy. Mm -hmm. There's the queen of wands and there's the offer. <laughs> So we see what's going to happen this week. Someone's going to take a risk because they have attraction to you and there's going to be a new beginning coming out of this. Actually, it's, it's got potential for something long-term, Aquarius. So it's going to be passionate in nature, but it has potential for something more serious. Okay. <laughs> there is the Emperor card energy again. Okay. And then the person card could be you, could be the love interest. Something official something official and some worries and anxieties when it comes to this person, okay? We see there's feelings here, but a sense of confusion, but a decision is going to be made very soon. What's the decision? An offer, a new beginning, a new potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> this is so straightforward. There was an ending of some kind of hurt and pain. Now you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to this sense of joy and hanging out and the celebration and this friendship. Something is presented here, something of value because of some kind of news or sad news was false. Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity here for healing because of something to do with now. Family car can be family. It can be long-term. It can be family and long-term commitment for some of you. It can also talk about 10 of pentacles. This could be involving money, right? Abundance. Mm -hmm. healing this abundant energy because this opportunity because obviously there's hesitation also because you guys work together okay and I feel like there's some falsities about some kind of sad news because something was presented to you something of value here because you you revealed some things there were some things that were revealed about the situation that you didn't know okay so it looks like this person may have said oh yeah I have some issues with my family and but it was this false. This was false news, just to kind of to to kind of get you alone, to you know, to to kind of move things along. They were very strategic in their energy there. That's what it looks like to me, to kind of get you guys to hang out there with the Three of Cups energy for this opportunity mm -hmm, to make a decision. Okay, my beautiful Aquariuses, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your week. And, and there's multiple things you guys to go check out right now. So if you want more information about this, go check out the monthlies. You can find out more information for the entire month of April. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.